Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this really cute crochet hair look. And so if you're looking for a really quick and easy and affordable, that's the most important part, protective hairstyle for the winter time to let your natural hair flourish and grow underneath the braids, keep on watching. First, I'll be starting off with freshly washed damp hair and the products that I'm using to prep my hair for the braids underneath the crochet is my mom's leave-in conditioner from Diva Curl, Diva Curl, Diva Curl, I think. <laughs> Coconut oil and my little detangler brush. I'm going to be doing just some regular straight back cornrows. And I grew up in a hair salon, so cornrowing I am very used to. So I'm starting off with the product and I'm just mixing it into my hair, coating it, making sure that my hair is fully moisturized with all the products I'll be using. And so now we're going to braid. So you can also do some flat twist if you can't cornrow, but I'm just doing a very basic straight back cornrow pattern. Here's the braiding pattern, very simple, nothing crazy. So I'll be using Free Trust Water Wave hair and TT27, TT30, and TT33. I wanted like some natural highlights. So what I do with the curly crochet hair is I separate it so that it looks a little bit more natural. So here is the crocheting part, so you just Hook the needle through the braid, hook the hair into the latch, then you close it, and then you pull it through the braid. And so now you have the loop. And with the loop, if I can get it open, you then pull the other hair through it, pull it through it again. I do like maybe two or three knots because I want it secure, and then I just let it go like that. And so I just do that throughout my entire head. So when I get to the top of my head, where people will be seeing my hairline, I do the invisible knot method, which is different from the original method that I did before. So rather than pulling both strands through the loop that you've made, you will pull only one strand. And that gives the crochet a more natural look. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. I need to go get a rat tail comb because I want to tease this, like the parting, so that it looks a little bit more natural. Um, but yeah, this is what I did. With the, I think the highlights came out good for somebody who like did not know what she was doing in the highlights. But yes, we're going to cut this though because this is like, um, <laughs> A little too lioness for me. I'm trying to, you know, keep it natural. So we're just gonna see. I honestly don't even know how to cut my hair right. So we're just gonna hope I do what I need to do. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. Okay, that was quite a bit. <laughs> I didn't really cut that much off, but we're not cutting it. Okay, I think this looks cool. Let's go to the next side. Oh, 
okay this is like so much better oh my god i love this okay So I think I might keep it like this for now. Oh, all the hair on the ground is actually kind of insane. But I need a rat tail comb so I can tease this. So I will be right back. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so let's see how we can do this. I've seen, how do you back comb? I think this is how you back comb. I don't know if y'all can see, but something like this, okay, and then like, oh, not my real hair, but, so, let me look at this party, I don't know, does it look natural, and we're done, I think, for now, I'm done, I'm a fan, so I bought five packs, However, um, I didn't use all five. So I bought three packs of T33, which is like the base color that I use. So the more brown, I think you could see, like the more brown ombre color, I used that. And then I used a pack of T30, which is like the lighter brown somewhere in here. And then T27, which is the yellow gold. And so I didn't use all five packs. I didn't finish the pack of T27. I think I used like maybe half of the bundle that comes in it. For the T30, I probably used like three fourths of the pack, maybe a little bit more. And then for the T33, I used two full packs and then like a little bit of the third pack. So all in all, I guess I used maybe like three and a half packs if you consolidate the T27 and T30 um, and I think I spent like 30 or less on it and look I have a very nice protective style for a few weeks I wonder what it looks like parted to the side I usually do a middle part but who knows I'll probably switch it up I want to do a side part I'm not really a side part queen. Sometimes I am, most of the time not. Um, I don't know how to, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay, wait, I think I might've did something. Honestly, this is not bad either. This is really cute. I just have to like, make sure I put eco salad on my regular hair. <laughs> who, who, she did something, but yes. And then I could do a little like messy part. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend. But yeah, I'm done. My lips are dry per usual, but I hope you, oh gosh, enjoyed watching. Now I'm gonna go work out because I haven't worked out in a day. Thanks so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next one.